Hi, this is Samar from Developer Relations at BlackBerry. Welcome to this video on sharing builds of your BlackBerry 10 native application with others. In part one of this video series, I have presented a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to package a native application into an unsigned bar file that is good for sharing with others. In this first tutorial, the author of the app was guided to create two bar files that are required for sharing an unsigned application. The debug token bar file, which is the file that contains the author information, and the unsigned application bar file that was packaged in development mode. As explained in the first video, without a valid debug token installed on the device, unsigned bar files will be considered by the operating system as unauthorized and will be blocked. In this follow-up video, I will show you how to deploy those two bar files to one or multiple BlackBerry 10 devices. Here's a summary of the steps you need to follow. 1. Put device in development mode. 2. Connect device to computer. 3. Deploy the debug token bar file to the target device. 4. Deploy the application bar file to the target device. For multiple devices, simply repeat these steps for every device you want to install the unsigned application to. The very first step is to put the device in development mode. To put your device in development mode, swipe down the top bezel of your device and go to the Settings app. Go to Security and Privacy and then select Development Mode. There. Turn on the development mode toggle button and take note of the IP address of the device. Step 2 is to connect your device to your computer either using a USB cable or using Wi-Fi. Step 3 is to deploy the debug token to your BlackBerry 10 device. You can do so either using the BlackBerry 10 Momentix IDE or using the native command line tools. To do so using the IDE, you need first to set up your device as a target in the IDE. One way to do so is through the BlackBerry Deployment Setup Wizard. Go to Window and choose Preferences. Then click BlackBerry. Open the BlackBerry Deployment Setup Wizard, then click Next. Now the IDE will try to detect connected targets. Once that is done, choose to connect to device connected using USB. Provide the device IP address and password. Once that is done, click Next two times. That will take you to the Debug Tokens tab. There, choose to import a debug token and upload it to connected devices. Browse to the location of the debug token you received from the app author and click Next. Finally, click Finish. You will now see a green dot next to your device in the Target drop-down menu in the IDE. And when you go to your device, the Security and Privacy Development Mode page will now indicate that the debug token is installed and displays the details of its author name and the expiry date of the debug token. Finally, step 4, you can go ahead and deploy the application bar file to your device. Again, you can do so using either the IDE or the command line tools. Now that our target is seen and connected in the IDE, go to File, Import, and choose to import a file system into the IDE. Click Next and browse to the location of the application bar file you want to deploy. Select the project folder you want to import the bar file into and click Finish. When you double-click the bar file you just imported, the editor window will now display the manifest of the bar file and at the top right corner there is going to appear an install and uninstall action items. Click install to install the application bar file to your device. Now go to your device and you will be able to see the application icon appearing next to the already installed applications. Next let me show you how to perform the same steps using the command line tools. First, you need to set up the environment variables of the BlackBerry 10 native SDK. This is a step you need to follow every time you intend to use any of the BlackBerry 10 native command line tools in a command window. To set the environment variables in Windows, open the Start menu and type CMD in the search box. Right-click the CMD file and run as administrator. When the command window opens, 
change the directory to where you have your BlackBerry 10 NDK installed. That's usually under the C drive in the BBNDK folder. Then run the bbndk-end.bat file. If you have multiple installations of the native SDK installed, then choose the SDK release you want to use. To deploy the debug token using the command line window, you need to use the BlackBerry native deploy tool. Now change the directory to where your debug token is located. Finally, type and run the following command to deploy the debug token into your device. BlackBerry deploy install debug token, then specify the debug token bar file name and location dash device, then enter the device IP address dash password, and finally enter the device password. You will know the deployment was successful when you see this success message displayed in the command window. And when you go to your device, the security and privacy development mode page will now indicate that the debug token is installed and displays the details of its author name and the expiry date of the debug token. Another way to deploy an application bar file to a BlackBerry 10 device is using the BlackBerry-Deploy tool. To do so, in the already open command line window, type and run the following command. BlackBerry-Deploy dash install app dash device then specify the device IP address you noted earlier dash password then specify the device password dash package then finally specify the application bar file name including its location you will know the operation was successful when you see a success message displayed in the command line window and the device will now display the application icon along with the already existing apps. That brings us to the end of this video and the video series on sharing builds of your BlackBerry 10 native application with others. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or send me a tweet referencing this video. I would be happy to answer you. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more video tutorials on using the BlackBerry 10 native tools and APIs.